Now we have a defamation battle continuing between MSNBC host Rachel Maddow and One America News Network. Now, RT correspondent Natasha Sweet spoke with the network's attorney and has more on the story. After offering MSNBC host Rachel Maddow months to retract her statements about One America News Network, the end line has come and gone. And now the network's attorney tells me they will be moving forward with litigation. You may recall a feud between One America News Network and Rachel Maddow. It all began after Maddow did a three-minute hit piece on the network. May or may not know that there's another boutique little news outlet that is designed specifically for Trump mega fans. Uh, it's called One America. Uh, um, President Trump also started quoting this little news outlet and, and frequently telling people that they should be watching them. Even after referring to the network as a thing, Maddow went a step further and accused OAN of being paid Russian propaganda. She tied this together by saying one of their correspondents was also freelancing for Sputnik. Turns out that little news network has a full-time on-air reporter who covers U.S. politics who is also simultaneously on the payroll of the Kremlin. OAN's attorney followed up with Maddow asking for a retraction by August 15th. The letter says you claim without a shred of evidence that OAN is really literally paid Russia propaganda. That is false. OAN has never received a single penny from the Russian government. The letter goes on to say that Mr. Rose has never had any decision making authority with respect to the content that is aired on OAN. His outside work for other media outlets has no relation to or bearing on his work for OAN. And here you can see the letter is asking for a public retraction of those defamatory statements. Now, no public retraction has been made as of today. I reached out to the legal team at MSNBC and have yet to hear back, but OAN's attorney says they are preparing to move forward with a lawsuit and believes it has a good chance of going to a jury. In Los Angeles, Natasha Sweet, RT. Okay, I want to go back to the feud between One America News and MSNBC. You know, we have in studio with us this week is Lionel, and I had to bring him in on this when I saw his face walking by, like, I've got to bring you in and ask you these questions. Because do you realistically think, Lionel, that MSNBC would actually give a retraction and say, I'm sorry to a boutique network like <laughs> One America News Network? I think they or should. Or any network. I think they should if the truth is what they're after. If MSDNC, excuse me, I'm sorry, MSNBC, MSLSD, I'm sorry, if they are interested in the truth. But let me ask you this let's assume you have a product and I falsely claim that your product causes cancer or your product contains a, a chemical which causes birth defects. And I never checked it out. Reckless disregard for the truth. Malice. Don't you think you, I, it's a company, and you as a company should say, wait a minute, you're hurting us? Well, I think companies can sue for libel because they are, they do have in, individual status. And I think it's only fair that if MSD, it's, excuse me, MSNBC was incorrect, they should retract it if it's not true. But that's the question. I mean, do you really think they would? I mean, there, we can go down a list with every unfortunate media network right now when it comes to this whole Russiagate and Russian propaganda. Just this fear mongering that they've done, including on a daily basis here, uh, that it, it happens all the time, but nobody ever holds them accountable. And in this case, One America did take right. the first steps legally, but nothing's happened and they're not really responding yet. Let's assume they go to through litigation. Then we have discovery. Okay. Ms. Maddow, let's go through your preparation. How did you come upon this particular story? What, it, what information did you glean? Who told you about this? How did you, and then we find out exactly the journalistic standards of MSLS, I mean MSDNC, I mean MSNBC. Then we find out exactly how this thing works. It will be simple for them to say, you know what, if there was any problem, we made a mistake, oops, and now we move on to well, they, they don't even move on. They continue to spew this lie over and over. But that being said, once again, you're bringing in lawyers here. Corporate entities like MSNBC <laughs> does have huge teams of lawyers right. that they keep on retainer. It doesn't cost them boutique networks, right. as it was referred to, One America. It would cost them a lot of money to be able to actually continue to prosecute this. And, you know, who knows where it would end and what Pandora's box, if it would ever end on it. That being said, I have to wonder, you know, moving forward to this, is there ever going to be any accountability for networks that falsely libel another I media outlet? I think yes, and I think we're going to see. And by the way, you don't need a big law firm to say, Ms. Maddow, answer the question. How did you come upon this fact that you said that this was a Russian propaganda? It's a very simple question. We don't need David Boys in here. 
answered the question. Very simple. But the question, the bigger question is, how does this help? I, I get it. We're in competition. It's like any other sport. You have teams going against each other. But how does this help when you use one media outlet to falsely acclaim another one? Just to, uh, is it more are they afraid of the attention, or is it they're just trying to fill time? Because what's happening right now is how does it help? Because people have to realize there are some people who are interested in the truth, and there are other people who are involved and interested in propaganda and entertainment. And guess which one <laughs> I respectfully submit with that would be that particular platform. Well, and moving forward on this, do you think there is going to be, now that you have had, and we saw the New York Times this week come out with it saying, and we know there were ties between New York Times reporters and Podesta and the DNC, all right. sorts of things. Do you think we're finally going to see an end yes. of this fear? mongering that we don't know we're not going to give you specifics but we are going to cast you as being Russian propaganda are we done with this this and, and no but accountability yes absolutely well I like your optimism you're usually not uh, maybe you're more optimistic in studio than you are maybe when I just have you in a box <laughs> oh, in this particular case I'm optimistic because I think it's gonna happen well you know in the end the truth always wins it just might for take the most a, part it might just take a while till we yes, find it out indeed that's kind of my biggest worry on that one indeed. that I kind of worry well Lionel thank you so much for joining me. I'm glad I was able to catch you thank in the hallway you. on this thank because you because this is an issue that we've continued to follow over and over again when and we're going to be talking about it again I guarantee you I have no doubt thank you Lionel. thank you hey YouTube thanks for checking out our channel we hope you enjoyed the video we have tons of content for you just like this for more of RT America's one-of-a-kind news and analysis be sure to subscribe and never stop questioning more